Hello, Barnes. <laughs> Barnes. Those of us with ADHD can be really creative, but we aren't really taught what to do with that. We might think creativity is about being good at drawing or sculpting or painting. And if we aren't good at that stuff, it means we aren't creative. But actually creativity isn't just about creating, it's also about problem solving, thinking outside the box, coming up with novel ideas or words. In research, a common definition of creativity is the generation of ideas or products that are original and useful. Full disclaimer, Creativity in general, and especially in relation to ADHD, is not an area of research that is frequently studied, so the research we have on it is somewhat limited and still developing. But Dr. Holly White, who studies creative cognition, has conducted several studies showing that ADHDers are better at using creative thinking processes than those without ADHD. In fact, her research has found that there are three components of creative thinking that ADHDers tend to be good at. Divergent thinking, the ability to generate many alternative options to a single open-ended problem typically occurs in a spontaneous non-linear manner. Basically, coming up with a lot of different ideas. Brainstorming. Conceptual expansion, the formation of new and unusual associations to existing concepts and knowledge structures, like putting the research we have about ADHD together with YouTube to make this channel. And overcoming knowledge constraints, resisting the constraints of prior knowledge. One of the studies for this was really cool. The researchers told both neurotypical brains and ADHD brains to draw an alien fruit. All participants were told to be as creative and unusual as they could. Guess which group had ADHD? If divergent thinking is thinking outside the box, overcoming knowledge constraints is going, there's a box? Some of the brains actually came up with their own alien fruit. This is one of the things that I love about having ADHD. Yeah, we might get distracted more, we might be more impulsive or hyperactive, but according to research, it's those same traits that enhance and drive our creativity. Impulsivity allows for risk taking and distractibility allows for innovative thinking, which are important for creative achievements. So it's not surprising that researchers found ADHDers report more real world creative achievements. And we're even more likely to start our own companies. That doesn't mean we're always more creative. ADHD performance on any task depends a lot on motivation and stimulation. So if a creative task we're working on doesn't engage our brains, we're not gonna be nearly as creative. The same is true if we're in an environment that limits our creativity, like being stuck at a desk working on projects that don't interest us, being told to stay focused when we're staring out the window daydreaming, even being forced to fit into a certain kind of creativity. The guy who does our animations got a D in art class. And even if we know we're creative and can work in a way that works for us, we still have ADHD. Some creative tasks are going to require things like planning and prioritizing and the ability to tolerate frustration, all of which can be hard for our brains. The very traits that make us more creative can also get in the way of actually creating. For example, we're really good at divergent thinking, coming up with ideas, but aren't any better at convergent thinking, narrowing down those ideas. So we often end up with way more ideas than we know what to do with. This is probably why I've started a lot more projects than I've finished. Also, for people with ADHD, comorbidity is the rule rather than the exception. We usually aren't just dealing with ADHD. Anxiety and perfectionism can get in the way of starting something, and depression can sap our motivation to do anything, really. And years of internalized messages of not being good enough in school can create dysfunctional beliefs about our abilities. Even if we're super creative, there's a lot that can get in the way of us actually using that creativity. So creativity is a gift that can come with ADHD, but how do we use it? One, learn about the ways in which we're creative. Top-down executive function heavy tasks like completing a project according to specific instructions the way a teacher expects, maybe we're not as strong at. Tasks that allow us to think outside the box and do things in new and novel ways and think flexibly, maybe that's where we shine. Maybe we're good at coming up with a lot of ideas in a meeting. Maybe we're good at seeing how this thing could make this thing better. Maybe we're good at creating something completely new, whether that's a product, an idea, or an alien fruit. Even if you consider yourself really creative in one way, look for other ways in which your creativity pops up. I know I'm good at writing and I really suck at drawing, but recently I realized I have a really good imagination. I can kind of imagine what an ADHD friendly work environment might look like, for example, and I'm using that visualization to help me build it. The point is we're all going to be better at some forms of creativity than others. Find yours. Two, foster that creativity. Give your brain time to wander. This is why shower thoughts are a thing. Our brains do need time to focus on a project, 
but also time to wander so there's space for those light bulb moments to happen. Choose projects that interest you if you can or do them in ways that interest you. Combat perfectionism by being deliberately terrible. Tossing out terrible ideas can actually help spark good ones. Reward your creativity. According to research, motivation is a huge factor in ADHD creativity, and we respond way better to reinforcers than punishment. Use mind maps to help generate those divergent ideas in a way where you can come back to them later. Then maybe get help narrowing them down. Finally, three, deal with what's getting in the way. Again, there are a lot of things that can get in the way of our creativity, but our attention spans are short and my animator is probably tired, so I'll stick to one of them for now, our ADHD. ADHD can get in the way of any task, including creative ones. So the things we do to treat our ADHD can also help us create. Cognitive behavioral therapy can help us deal with the dysfunctional beliefs that get in the way of us creating. Coaching can help us figure out where to put our creative energy and support us in dealing with what's getting in our way. ADHD friendly apps and project management tools can help us organize and prioritize our projects and ideas. And ADHD medication can help with motivation and focus. A lot of creative people with ADHD don't treat their ADHD because they're worried it'll mess with our creativity. It can feel like we're less creative on stimulant medication. Because we're more focused, we often don't have as many ideas bouncing around in our head at once. But while stimulant medication helps to improve our focus, current research suggests that it doesn't negatively impact our divergent thinking. This is kind of a big deal. Personally, I write better when I'm on my meds, so it was nice to hear I'm not sacrificing the ability to come up with ideas by taking them, at least from what we know so far. That said, there's a lot about ADHD and creativity we don't know yet. As someone who creates for a living, I'm hoping to do more videos on this topic as we learn more and possibly even help fund some new research on it. There's not a lot of research on ADHD strengths in general and how to take advantage of them, and I think we should change that. In the meantime, this isn't exactly research, but I think it could be really cool. I started this community mind map so we can add what helps us be creative. There's a link to it in the description below. I've added what helps me be creative. I am unreasonably excited to see what you add. <laughs> Maybe something you write will also spark an idea for someone else. If you'd rather create your own mind map, the app I'm using is called MindMeister. Or if you like pen and paper, you can print the one we included in the description below. Thank you to our brain advocates and all our Patreon brains for supporting and rewarding our creativity and giving us the creative freedom to do things outside the box. Like, subscribe, click all the things, and I will see you next video. Bye brains.